Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you want to install a software, but the moment you copy the software to your computer, some vital files in the software gets deleted by Windows Defender Antivirus? They are detected as a virus, although they are not. And after you turn off Windows Defender Antivirus, it automatically turns back on when you restart your computer. All you can do is turn off Windows Defender Antivirus every time you turn on your computer. That can be so frustrating. In this video, I will show you a very easy way to permanently turn off Windows Defender Antivirus on your computer. Go over to your taskbar where you have system icons and click on the little arrow to expand it, then click on the Windows Defender icon. If you can't find the Windows Defender icon among the system icons, don't worry. Just go to the search icon and click it, then type in Defender. In the search result, click on Windows Security right here. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, click on Manage Settings. Turn off the real-time protection and everything else here. Just turn everything off. And then restart your computer. After restarting, open the virus and threat protection settings again. And as you can see, the real-time protection has automatically turned on again. Just click the toggle button to turn it off again. To make sure it remains permanently off, Click on the search button and type in gpedit. Then, click on Edit Group Policy under Best Match to open the Group Policy Editor. Click on Computer Configuration. Under Computer Configuration, Click on Administrative Template. Next, under Administrative Template, click on Windows Components. Scroll down until you find Windows Defender Antivirus and click on it. Under Windows Defender Antivirus, click on Real-Time Protection. The first option here is Turn Off Real-Time Protection, click on it. To enable Turn Off Real-Time Protection, click on this radio button, and then click on Apply and OK. Go back to the Virus and Threat Protection settings. There's a notice here that says this setting is managed by your administrator. Go ahead and close this and this. Restart your computer to confirm that the real-time protection will not automatically turn back on. After restarting, go to the Virus and Threat Protection settings. As you can see, the real-time protection remains off now after restart. You will not have to go through the stress of turning it off every time. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and tutorials. Thank you.